Today, we're going to be doing something amazing. But also, we're going to be doing something sad. But in the end, it's going to make me glad. Starting off with cringe, all right? So let's start off with the sad part. You see this big lug of wasted life? <laughs> I have to tear it down because, what did I say? Sad, glad. Today, we're going to be doing something amazing, but also we're going to be, okay, amazing. Which leads me on to the amazing part. We're going to be making a new perimeter. Well, not making a new, te not technically making a new perimeter. We're expanding upon an old perimeter. The creeper farm perimeter, which lies beneath this 880,000 scaffolding. And in the end, it'll make me glad. You see, it goes full loop. So without further ado, let's just break this stupid thing. All I gotta do is, um, and then, um, yeah, oh, wow, oh, that's not any climactic at all. And then we just wait. Oh, <laughs> wow, it's breaking. Oh my God. If you want to see this full thing breaking, go watch the, um, was it episode 78? I don't remember. The scaffolding video, you literally can't miss it. But I'm just gonna sit here and watch all this fall alone. It has all fallen. It has been a humongous eyesore for the past very long time. <laughs> I don't know when I built it. When I turn around, I want to feel immediate relief. Yeah, okay. I like that a lot. Let me remove my fog. Yeah, if I just had a little bit higher render distance, I could see it all. Just from my base. Oh, well, this this is so much better. So much better. It was so ugly. And if you guys also want to break it, I did a video titled All Minecrafters I Challenge You. Just go watch that and you'll, you'll be able to break it. But anyways, what's the next step? Destroy the creeper farm. I'm going to go ahead and build the machines up to destroy it now. So I made the machines. They're not done yet. I gotta flick this lever and they all, they all go. Okay. And then they all reach the end here. Just like this. Yep. And then I gotta do some sick tricks. And not do that. And then I gotta do sick tricks. And not do that. And then I gotta do sick tricks. And do that. On every single one. It's gonna be great. It's just first try every time. I do it so easily. Just like that. Okay, all of those are placed, and then I think I just I can just turn it on and it it works. Just like this. Oh, it goes down a lot lower than I thought. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ! Oh my god! <laughs> it most assuredly is working, so that's pretty awesome. And then when it reaches this end, it just turns turns around. Just like that, and it's so- Oh my god, shut up. And it just turns around, just like this, and it's so- I like it better with the explosions. Perfect. Wow, it's like, almost completely destroyed. Oh, ow. Ow. It's already completely destroyed. <laughs> I could've just actually just used TNT instead of making machines. That's so embarrassing. Oh! Oh! That was terrifying. It's been less than two minutes. And it's gone. All that hard work. It took hours to place those blocks. Okay, I'm gonna pause it for a little bit and remove all the obsidian and water. The obsidian and water hath been removed. And now there's a friggin' ton of lava. This is gonna be a little annoying to remove. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I gotta destroy this little mechanism. And then, gonna be honest, nothing special to destroy this entire perimeter. I'm just gonna build this again. I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place, but yeah, I'm dumb. <laughs> why did I not think of that? I'm gonna build this machine three or may maybe five, five times longer. It has been made, and I added all the TNTs to it. Now all that's left to do is to, um, just flick that and hope for the best. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Jesus Christ. I want to get a look from up here. Oh. Oh. Oh! 
on. Why is it leaving dark spots like that, though? Oh, obsidian. So, yeah, all I gotta do is let this thing run until it's down to Y minus 64. And then happy days. I will have to clear a bunch of lava, break a bunch of obsidian. That's the bad thing about not doing a world eater and just doing TNT things. But it's only 64 layers. If it was the entire thing from scratch, then I would be doing a world eater. You know what? I'm talking about something nobody cares about. I'm just gonna go ahead and blow this thing up. All right, the entire thing has been blowed up. And if you're wondering what these little white patches are, it's just white carpet because slimes are the worst. I hate them. I think I've said this every single time I've done a perimeter. I hate slimes. They're the worst. <laughs> can, they, can they please be removed? Even though they make the best machines ever. Okay, this game sucks. I'm gonna let you guys guess what took the longest doing this hole. Was it A, clearing the lava? Was it B, watching the TNT machine break it all? Or was it C, Mining the last layer of deep slate. Well, I'm not gonna give you any time to react. Don't even bother commenting. It was C. Mining all the deep slate. It took eight hours to mine all of the deep slate. Maybe nine. Because I did forget to record some of me mining it. But look, I got a replay mod recording of seven hours, 16 minutes. I did a majority of it in one big sitting. And I didn't bother rendering the rest out. Again, I'm talking about stuff 0% of people care about. What other steps are left for this video? Well, remove the team. TNT machines, place the floor, and do the rest of the walls. That's pretty easy, I think. I don't think this is going to take much longer at all. Go away! Why are you still watching? Oh, also, I did not murder all the cats in the creeper farm. I saved them all. So I'm going to try keep the design the same as I did before and just sea lanterns floor and black concrete walls. And how on earth am I going to get the sea lanterns, you may be asking? Well, let me just hit F5 or C for me. I got this little bat, not that little bad boy. God, I built that cactus farm ages ago. When was I here last? Anyways, I got this little bad boy, my crappy, horrible guardian farm. Don't get me wrong. It looks awesome compared to some other guardian farms, but the rates don't look that awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to have to AFK and, and craft, I think, 38 shulkers of um, sea lanterns. I'm just going to do 40 just to be safe. Yeah, I'm going to need a new guardian farm. As I said, this one looks beautiful, but several IRL days later... All 40 of these shulker boxes are full. Every single one of them. Crafting was literally the easiest part. I reckon all up to craft all four sh 40 shulker boxes. It took me like two hours. AFKing was several days worth. I had to wait for these chests to fill up. And then I had to craft them. Wait for them to fill up. Craft them. Wait. Craft. Wait. Craft. Wait. Craft. Wait. Craft. And now I'm clinically insane. All in all, in the end, we got the sea lanterns. Why am I complaining? I'm definitely building a new one soon. Let's go place the floor. Now I'm pretty sure everyone understands what I'm actually doing. But for people who have zero brain cells, I'm going to be placing all these sea lanterns on the floor. Actually, why do I not just... I'm going to the time lapse. Shut up. This only took an hour and like 40 minutes with an auto clicker because I found an ingenious way to make it go fast. If you didn't see, I placed water down all on the floor and then I jumped in the water like this and that just allowed me to go one, two, three, four blocks. I could place blocks four blocks away from me. Ooh. Anyways, next step, obviously, the walls. Now, last time I did it, I think it was around the same as the floor, 40 shulker boxes, but this looks more than that, right? So I'm thinking 50, maybe 60 shulker boxes? I'm going with 60. So that means I got to farm up a bunch of stupid black concrete. And luckily, I have a really easy farm for that in the end. Oh, crap, like, oh, wow, my TPS is horribly... Oh, uh, no, I was just loading the world. One sec. Uh, before I do the black concrete, I want to see what my TPS in the top right looks like when I actually turn my bee farm on. So let's go into my astral form and then turn it on. Does it go above 50? If, if your MSPT goes above 50, then your world slows down and the farm just shouldn't work properly. It's not as fast as it should be. But it's actually going. It's going easy. Oh, well, that was a waste of time. Also, I thought I'd use this bee farm all the time. And then I've never used it once. 
One day, I'm gonna do a massive build out of honey. But that day is not today. Okay, as for the black concrete, I have to grab some, mine the sand, replace it. Then I gotta turn it on and then just AFK for an hour. I've AFK'd for an hour, gotta turn it off. Head back to the overworld. Admire myself and my beauty and also the Among Us's beauty. And then fill up a bunch of shulker boxes with black concrete. <laughs> Holy crap, yeah. We got a bunch of concrete. Oh my Christ. Anyways, the shulkers have been filled with black concrete. And now I have to work my way through all of these shulkers. <laughs> Fill up all of these chests over and over until I'm done converting all of it into concrete. Just like this. Now, I haven't used this machine in a while, but I think I can just... And then turn on my auto clicker. And then are we just good? I'm looking at my hot bar right now. If it goes above 64, I'm I'm not good. But it's looking fine. My hot bar isn't going above 64 or anything. All right, cool. And just with those quick, simple tips, I've got 60 shulker boxes and a bit. I feel like I really overdid it, but also it's better to have it and not need it than need it than not have it. Yep. So I've got to flatten the walls as I place the walls, and then I've got to destroy my DND machines. And then it's done. All the walls have been flattened. All the walls have been placed. All the floor has been placed. All the world has been destroyed. This hole is done. It's complete. And that's really all that's left to say. And also, I did go a bit excessive with the black concrete. I got, what, 7, 14. I got 18 shulgo boxes left. I don't care. Future project. I'm way too hyped. I'm going to calm myself down. <sighs> okay, cool. So, I think we're going to be done with today's video. But don't leave yet. I want suggestions from everyone. I want to know what to put in this hole. I don't want to do a creeper farm, only creeper farm. I'm thinking mob farm, really good mob farm. I don't want to do an EOL mob farm, the light one that friggin SB73 did, because that did, it seems so annoying to make. Or just something that gives me gunpowder. I do want gunpowder. 100% want gunpowder from this, but if I can get more than that, That'll be awesome. I feel like I'm just making this confusing. Give me suggestions of what to put in the hole. Okay, that's it. Let's get a better view. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Can I do like some weird cinematic? Thanks for what? Wait. Thanks for watching, guys. Oh my god, this is so weird. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. <laughs>